chase a feeling. It's not just a game, when every move feels like a power play. It's opened my eyes to a whole new world. It's where I find myself. And get lost in the game. <clears throat> I wake up every minute with a fever dreams I push a mind to a limit where it needs to be I work like I got vision I don't need to see I pick a mind over matter I believe in me I need to find more hours in the day to breathe Need to find more power in the way I be And when my mind turns out with the painful scenes I need to scream out loud I can't stop me I wanna be the greatest like Rocky You know I leave them all hates like a hobby I'm out here making moves like a lobby And if you ain't with me it's you lost I got my mind on the facts I'm a python grab what I like real fast Choke until I have everything I attack Everything that I lack Everything that I want and I see matter of fact If I let it be I can control anything If I can just think carefully I control my destiny Deep up in my mind I manifest it Every morning I wake up obsessed and Everything I do I do the best And deep within my mind You know I'll always manifest it At magandang magandang hapon po muli mga ka-PCX and welcome once again to another episode ng PC Express Live. Siyempre, bago po tayo magsimula, gusto ko sanang batiin ang ating mga masisigasig na mga viewers ngayong hapon ito. Nandito si Sir Jason Alonso, Kyrie Dredge, Ken Cubillo, si Za... Uh, ano to? Uh, Zeke Silva, siyempre nandiyan din si Kevin, Mark, Lalata, Tontoko, Sean, Ariel, Agustin. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Kamusta po? Napanood nyo yung video natin? Natuwa po ba kayo? Grabe, isang klaseng, isang bagong production po yan ng PC Express Live. At ngayong hapong ito, grabe, ibang klase ang pag-uusapan natin. This is one hell of a monster or one hell of a beast. etong katabi ko, itong produktong ito, eto sana all meron talaga tayo. Kung wala, inyo na po ang aking kidney stones. Ayan, kidney stones lang po ang binibigay ko. Hindi po ang aking kidney. So by the way, magandang magandang hapon po buli mga ka-PCX. At nandito tayo sa ating Alienware special live stream. So kung naaalala nyo po, Every time na nagkakaroon po tayo ng live stream about Alienware, pinapakita natin ang pinakamagandang produkto when it comes to gaming. Kasi pag narinig natin ang salitang Alienware or ang brand ng Alienware, 
ano ang naaalala natin. So, iyan sa mga kailangan natin maalala. Kapag Alienware, hindi po ako isang alien, ha? Ito yon Alienware are one of the blank. Ano kaya yan? So, so yun. Sasagutin natin ngayong hapong yan. At ito naman, alam ko, usok-usok po sa gaming ang mga laptops. This time around, pag-uusapan natin, sabi nga natin, this is one hell of a beast. Itong Alienware Aurora R13 na nandito sa tabi ko. Pag-uusapan natin yan. But what's in store for you, mga kaibigan? Siyempre, una-una dito, every time meron tayong mga ganitong product introduction or product launch dito sa PC Express Live, meron tayong mga promotions na ginagawa. Para sa ating mga viewers, I'm sure, mahilig po kayo sa mga ganito, di ba? Mahilig kayo sa mga ganitong klaseng merchandise. Ito, grabe. Ni, kahit ako, wala pa nito, bagong dating to. Itong Alienware jacket. This is a Nike, Nike branded Alienware jacket. Yan, co-branded yan. Pinagawa nila from Nike. So, this is really a quality jacket na pwedeng mapasa inyo. Kasama na itong Alienware Aurora R13. So, yan po, no? Kung gusto nyo makuha to, manood kayo. Sayang ang opportunity kasi baka malay nyo. Hindi nyo kailangan magbenta ng kidney para dito. Okay? So, anyway, tama na with that kidney joke. Ano pa? What, what else is in store for you? Meron po tayong limang 500 pesos. Ayan na, 500 pesos gift certificate na ipamimigay ngayong hapon ito provided provided na masagot nyo no masagot ninyong mga viewers no ang mga katanungan na gagawin namin ngayon and of course kailangan makita po namin na kayo po ay may sharer badge na na-share nyo publicly etong stream na to kaya wag na pa kayong um, sabi nga magpatumpi-tumpi pa sabi ni uh, Pembarya Koya no no kailangan i-share nyo na tong stream na to and share it publicly Importante yan, ilagay niyo po ang ating mga hashtags for today. Ano ang hashtags natin for today? Hashtag PC Express Live, hashtag Alienware, and hashtag Aurora13. So, meron po tayong tatlong hashtag na kailangan nyo... Ay, sorry. Uh, apat pala. Meron pa pala isa. Uh, hashtag Dell Gaming. Ayan. So, meron ko nakita. Apat yung, yung nilagay nila. So, apat na hashtag ang kailangan natin makita. So, please make sure na nailagay niyan. So, mamaya pag-uusapan natin. Teka, ano yun? Bakit nahalo si Dell Gaming? Eh, pinag-uusapan natin si Alienware. So, sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, si Alienware po is part of the Dell family. Okay? But these are two separate brands. And when you want to talk about the premium, sabi nga natin, premium na the best pa. <coughs> Gaming brand out there, walang iba yan kung hindi ang Alienware. At kasama ko ngayong hapo ito is none other. But our, of course, favorite nating guess when it comes to gaming, kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang Alienware. The product manager for Alienware. So this is not for the Philippines. No? Product manager for Alienware. I think this is for Southeast Asia or Asia Pacific. Si Sir Leonard. Sir Leonard, how are you? Magandang magandang hapon. Good afternoon, Sir Leonard. Good afternoon. It was good. Very great to be back on your streams. You, get, you make it so fun to be here. Uh, and, and thank you for that wonderful introduction. Mm -hmm. So ayan po, no? alam naman natin mga ka ito, nakita na natin yan, live na naman po natin, makakasama ang dashing and handsome Alienware product manager. Munti ko na nasabing Alienware mascot kasi medyo hawig sila ng alien, di ba? No, just kidding, Sir Leonard. So, I no, yeah, I, I, I want to get there. You know, if I lose more weight and my face becomes a little bit more sharp, yeah, then I'll look almost like that alien head. Yeah, so... Anyway, this is something that we would really want to talk about because this is a new product that has been actually, uh, it's been there for a couple of months. I, I, may, say, I may believe it. We, we, we've launched this yes. in the Philippines a couple of months ago, but this is the first time that we actually aired it here at PC Express Live. Actually, I envy you. The, the one that I got to see and the one that I got to actually interact with was the prototype. And you have that live on there, right next yeah. to you, just about a foot away. The thing about this was we, you know, as it says there, it's R13. We've had 13 generations of Aurora prior to this, and we've been working at it. You know, Alienware as a brand was uh, first conceptualized and visualized by gamers in, at its very initial stage, and we still carry that DNA today. So it's, it's built by gamers for gamers. Now, the minute you see that machine, it's just out there. It, it's so amazing. It's like the only thing you can think of was somebody from outer space delivered it, yeah. right? So that's, that's that's part of that DNA. That's part of that Alienware DNA. And, and I so envy you right now. 
Yeah. So this particular machine, actually, if uh, we could show them this machine together with me. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something that I don't want to let go of. <laughs> Okay, I haven't really tested this machine yet. We just had it a few days ago and we took the video. I've seen you guys, you've seen the video. Anong tingin niyo doon sa video niyan? Comment naman kayo. Sino anong napansin niyo? Ayan, nakita niyo ba si Rems G doon? So, ayan, ayan. si Pembarya Koya actually kasama din natin doon. But that particular video is really uh, uh, what you call a message being brought across that this particular unit should be taken care of. Uh, not just properly handled but should be taken care of sort of like it's a lab equipment a very expensive lab equipment because it's really expensive but when we talk about expensive machines alam niyo po mga kaibigan yung mga ganito klasing mga makina it's not just bragging rights this has all the bells and whistles that what any particular gamer wants to have so yun yung pag-uusapan natin po ngayon so balik po natin si Sir Leonard as we talk about who is Alienware and what is the Aurora R13 gaming desktop is all about. Okay? So, Sir Leonard, can you at least share to us, you've talked about the Alienware DNA. It's uh, made for gamers, right? So, designed with gamers yes. in mind and everything. But uh, to give us a more complete overview, we do know that Alienware is a big, big, big brand out in the United States. If I would say it's uh, probably the number one brand, not just in the United States, even Europe, right? I think as we look at it, right, Alienware, Alienware started there. It was, you know, visualized and, and, and brought to life by a, a group of gamers. And we continue with that even today. Like I said, we have had 13 generations of this machine where we worked on it. Now, what makes it different? And, and, and how is this different from a normal white boxer that you put together? Here's the part. We've done all the heavy lifting for you. We've made sure the components work. You can overclock safely. Uh, the RAM in there will work. I mean, personally, I've, I've had friends who put together PCs and how often you had a case where they took banks of memory back to the store and said, okay, this one's working, but then this one doesn't work the minute I plug it in in this dual channel configuration. And then the store will say, oh, okay. And then they'll get another bank swapped out and they go back and they try a few. And then it works on a certain slot, doesn't work on another. So this takes all that guesswork out. We have that. And then we talk about cooling, you know. A Alienware is perfecting, keep perfecting it over the years. So we have what is called cryotech cooling system in it. Mm -hmm. So you will go to the market and, and you would buy, say, a fan right so how big a fan do you need how much cooling do you actually need and, and this takes all the guesswork out of it the minute you pick something uh, in an i9 for example you get the cryotech cooling system it has a bigger pump it's a, it's still a 120 mm fan uh, and radiator right so all of that actually helps you the, the end user so that you get that machine that works right from the get-go you don't have to bring it to the chop shop and say okay i need to change this i need to add that this is this is it this is it you bring it back home and you blow your competition away it's not just about bragging rights but behind the screen when you play a game and you just don't worry you just go back and you blow the competition away with excellent display with outputs that are fantastic then open the machine and it looks wonderful it, it's not like you open the machine and you see a, a whole bunch of spaghetti wires everywhere we've had cable management system tied into it so if you if you look at that machine right next to you and you pan into it, where are the cables? Right, you, you don't have all of those messy cables anymore. There's proper cable management in a system built by somebody you buy full. It's not it's not a it's not a put together system. This is really made by gamers for gamers by the brand Alienware. Wow. So when when we talk about Alienware machines. Now, what I what, what I picked up from what you just said, number one, it removes all the other trial and error that you need to do when you create or you build your own PC. Now, alam mo mga ka PCX, PC Express po nakilala po sa Pilipinas yan. Nagbubuo tayo ng mga dekalidad na mga PCs, DIY PCs, bread and butter business po ng PC Express. But this time around, no, marami po na intindihan din po namin, marami po tayo mga uh, kaibigan dito na ayaw nang mag-isip kung paano nila bubuhin. Ang gusto lang nila, give me the best gaming PC out there. 
pre-tested, with good warranty, reliable, at wala na akong isipin pang iba. Gusto ko maglaro na lang at gusto ko makuha yung best gameplay experience. And yun po yung naintindihan ko sa sinabi ni Sir Leonard. Everything has been pre-designed, pre-tested, and it's working properly without anything to think about. And the best of all, syempre, it comes with the Dell warranty. Uh, sorry, it's not Dell. It's the Alienware warranty. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Yes, yes. It's, mm -hmm. It is the Alienware warranty. You're, you're mm -hmm. absolutely right. You, you can think of it this way. Um, if you walked into a store today and walked into one of your prestigious stores today and they really picked up the components and built it themselves, they have to decide which motherboard to get, right? First of all. And besides the motherboard, they need to know which chipset, then the RAMs, and then they need to pick the SSDs. After that, they buy the CPU and they go, okay, I can't use the stock CPU cooler. I have to buy one. And... and then which way do I mount it? Do I mount it with the radiator inputs below, above, mm -hmm. right? Do you mount it upside down? A and then what size casing? How much power supply? All of that. I, I mean, if you think about it, then they'd have to put it all together. I'm sure your expert uh, personnel at PC Express will be able to do that. But then it's still guesswork, right? And if they put all that together, there is an option. Why don't you take this? This is, this is like... I want to go 200 miles an hour. I'd buy a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. Or I could buy a, an empty Honda Civic and start building it up from ground up. It'd still get the 200 miles an hour, but it'd be dangerous. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is exactly that. This is the device you want to buy, have peace of mind, and just blow everything away. It, it, it's already there. Cryotech with the, with the new thermal paste. Uh, the cooler has been made sure of. So if you get an i9, you don't have to worry. But the cooler is not going to be able to take it if you decide to overclock it. So all of that's in there. I mean, I, I prefer a messy, fuss-free game. Mm -hmm. Any day. Yeah. Okay. So we have actually a question here. What's the yep. processor that we are actually using in this particular unit? Now, for this Aurora R13 that I have beside me, this is actually the Intel Core i9 version. Okay? This is, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Core i9. Yeah, I think the yeah. one that you have is the Core i9K version, yeah, right? The, the one K. that's overclockable, the fully unlocked version. Yeah, so that's why it costs more than one kidney. I need two kidneys to buy this one. Okay, but actually, we have it here. This is the full, <laughs> yeah. the full specifications. It's shown on the screen. We have two different variants right? of the Aurora R13. One is, of course, when we talk about the black version, this is the dark side of the moon. This is what Alienware calls it. And when we have this one, the color, uh, the color white, is they call it lunar light okay that's how they differentiate uh the black and the white it's the dark side of the yeah. moon and the lunar light okay now two different variants one is powered by the intel core i9 k processor and the other one is the uh, intel core i7 uh, k processor as well now both of these particular units are actually 12th generation Intel Core processor meaning mga kaibigan mga ka PCX ibig sabihin ito po yung pinaka latest generation na pinagmamayabang ng Intel na the fastest processor on the planet right now ito po yun nandito sa tabi ko ang sarap ayoko nang isole thank you Alienware for donating mga kaibigan paghahati-hatian po natin to Pwede ba? Okay ba yun? <laughs> pag hati hatihan natin ito, syempre, available po to sa PC Express. We'll talk about more of the specs, more of the price in a little while. But let's talk more about the Aurora R13. Kanina sinabi po sa inyo na ang laman po nito isa sa pinaka importanting feature sa tingin ko, no? That, that would set apart Aurora R13 from the rest of the competition is the cooling system. Sabi ni Sir Leonard, this is called the Cryotech cooling technology of Alienware. So, pinakita po namin kanina yung picture na to. And I do hope Sir Leonard could help explain what makes this different from any other cooling system out there because we do have a lot of water cooling all-in-one solutions. Again, this is a 120mm fan. The others uses 240 or 2120 or even 360 or 3120 uh, fans. So, yeah, so, let's talk about that. Yeah, so you're, you're actually very right. You do have 120 mm, which is uh, 120, which is a single fan version. Then you have a 240, which is the double fan version. Mm -hmm. Now, the part is there's a lot of overkill, right? So if you if you want to design a system purely to do benchmarking, uh, so a system like that's not really meant for gaming. People just 
go to the point you get liquid hydrogen cooling <laughs> liquid nitrogen cooling and, and really try and super cool everything so that you can break benchmark scores but this is for gamers this is not this is not for chasing benchmarks and what we found is it's not the size of the fan mm -hmm. it's the size of the radiator and the ability of the pump how much volume can the pump move so if you look at the cryotech cooling system there are three variants so you have the first one which is basically air cooled and we don't have that air cooled available in the philippines we have two variants of the liquid cool one variant uh without the light is the lower pump version which will handle up to i7k mm -hmm. right but for us we found that if you want maximum performance it's not so much also the cooling system but also the thermal paste involved now we started that and if you remember a while back we spoke about the the x15 mm -hmm. and you were at the x15 launch and we talked about all the five different technologies we had to come up with a brand new uh cpu paste which is phase shift cpu pa uh, paste right it's very different i mean if, if you buy liquid metal for example that can get very messy very quickly mm -hmm. and if you happen to spill a drop somewhere else you could literally short out the whole motherboard right so it's messy and and we didn't want that of course the other thing that happens when you use uh liquid metal as well is it tends to dry up so you have to periodically check and reapply the liquid metal so what we've done is we have the element that we we put in here part of cryotech we also have now an uprated fan that is bigger than what it was in the previous aurora and of course we made it nice and now that all the cables are missing we can show you lights and we can show you colors just as how all our alienware is the famous for right all the led lights we have it on the fan we have it on the cooler and of course it's optimized for that i9k as far as you can push it you don't need a 240 you could buy a 240 but do you actually need it now if you have a very weak pump a 240 actually is a negative side effect you don't have enough power in the pump to pump the fluids too you still get a very hot processor mm -hmm. right so in this yeah. case we've optimized everything in the form of the paste the cooler the fan mm -hmm. and then the states so basically the motherboard has control states and know exactly what and when to apply certain amounts of cooling so it kind of anticipates your usage this is this is all part of cryotech so what, if you think about it this is wait, DNA. Wait, this is something mm. that you've, uh, you have haven't mentioned a while ago the the motherboard takes care of the state of the cooling system meaning to say this is yes. what, uh, automated ai assisted uh, how does no it's it's predetermined so for example mm. if you remember in the x15 what we have is tailored powered states so today how how cooling system works is it, it's based on temperature right so if you look at the condition that we're in as a human body we start sweating only when the temperature goes up so when when our temperature internally goes up it starts we start sweating to cool down now when we talk about tailored states it's actually at the processor intensity level it's more about when the processor is being pushed mm -hmm. that means when the output increases we anticipate that increase and we try and control the temperature so what you do is you do, you will make sure that the temperature rises as slowly as possible giving you the most amount of time in which the processor stays cool mm -hmm. so what happens in the current day in the current day and age when you have it at temperature based the cpu is overheated and so what happens is it's throttle right so the the fan goes into overload and basically then all the temperature starts coming down the minute it's back in the normal state then your your cpu performance goes back up again so it there is a throttle it's throttled because your cpu is overheated and then it's cooling down mm -hmm. now when it's powered states the minute your cpu load goes up the cpu fan follows with it so it takes a longer time to hit that threshold limit so you get a longer period of maximum performance and boost mm, okay wow that's a very very solid explanation alam niyo mga ka pcx apart now apart from the cryotech technology or the cooling system technology is it, am i correct it's called the cryotech cooling solution of alienware yes right? yes indeed it is yeah. it's the alienware cryotech cooling system okay it's the alienware cryotech cooling system now sa mga hindi po nakakaalam what we are using here the processor is the 12th generation intel core i9 12900k processor meaning 
all the features that the 12th generation Intel Core processor has to offer kasama dito. And when it comes to the best feature, and dami po, alam ko naririnig na po, Turbo Boost. This has been a very, very old technology. Nagkaroon po sila ng uh, Intel Thermal Velocity Boost. Then they have this uh, Intel Adaptive uh, something, temperature something. Now, lahat po yan dependent on how cool the system is. Or if the, if the temperature goes up, you won't get the best performance. Now, pag alam ng CPU that kaya pa ng cooling, na, kaya pa ng cooling to go up, kaya pa niyang palamigin, it will still boost the performance as in go all the way up. Kaya nga sinabi nila, the 12900, uh, 12900K processor, if I'm not mistaken, this can go all the way up to 5.5 gigahertz. If I'm not mistaken. Okay? It's 5.5 gigahertz. I'm sure it's more than 5.2. Kasi sa laptop yun eh. 5.5 gigahertz sa laptop lang yun. This one, I'm sure this is the one that went all the way up to 5.5 or 5.4 gigahertz. Grabe, yung speed na yan. Kaya nga sinabi, the world's fastest desktop processor na pwede nyong mabili ngayon. And nandito yan. Ito, itong gamit natin, Aurora R13 na Luna La Lunar Light. Okay? So remember, Cryotech cooling, or cooling system by Alienware. Ito yan. Hindi kailangan ng 240 fans. Hindi kailangan ng 360 Properly configured unit, properly designed. Remember, this is not tested the trial and error na mano-mano lang. What they did here, these are factory tested with uh, professional engineers. Siyempre, engineers na professional pa, di ba? Ganun talaga, ganun kagrabe. You, you, you need to have the best minds out there to really create the best products as well. So, ito po yun. No? So, Cryotech is one of those technologies that you'll actually be able to, to see when you're using an Alienware Aurora R13 gaming desktop okay now uh, sir leonard apart from the cryotech solutions uh, you've mentioned about of course getting out all the guesswork and everything but is there any other features that we should be well aware of that it's uh what you would say exclusive to alienware alone you mentioned a few just now and, and i think you skipped uh one the temperature control circuit is an interesting one i, I particularly like it mm -hmm. now in the past in order for you to do uh overclock and boosting one of the things that you had an issue was at what point is the ceiling, right? Because you, you have no ability to set the ceiling. So what you did was you either undervolt mm -hmm. or you limit the amount of multipliers that you have so that your, your CPU reaches a certain temperature. That's how you basically control the boosting. Now in the TCC or the temperature control circuit, you basically tell the, the CPU and set. Let's say, for example, you want a maximum of 90 degrees and you set 90 degrees whatever happens the maximum the cpu will go to is 90 degrees so it takes that guesswork out it, it kind of limits that guesswork and so the tcc is something that you will get an ability to do normally the tcc is set in the bios mm -hmm. so the minute you set that 90 degrees it has a thermal ceiling of 90 degrees so no matter what you do you you're very sure you're not going to be able to breach it because it's already controlled at the motherboard level so those are some of the very interesting technologies that's in, again, in Alienware to make sure that you have that particular control. Along with that, you also have all the fastest possible network connection speeds. So what good is a fast PC if you don't have fast network connection speeds, right? Mm -hmm. You have the fastest possible Wi-Fi, you have the fastest possible network ports. Yeah, and if, if, if you have a 2.5 gigabit switch, then you can take advantage of that 2.5 gigabit killer network in there. Okay, so yeah, I think this is something that uh, a lot of gamers forget uh, the network capability of a, of a particular unit. We're so used to having one gigabit uh, Ethernet ports, right? Now, this particular unit uses a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. Uh, you just mentioned about uh, using the killer, is it the killer LAN technology? Yeah, it's it definitely killer. Killer has been associated with Alienware from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. right, so if you happen to have that and you happen to have uh, a Wi-Fi w which will have uh, killer prioritization, you're going to get awesome speed connection to the internet. It's lag free. You're not going to you're not going to get any blips and trips. Right. So the only the only place that will have a problem is then you look to Globe or any of your provider in the Philippines and say, look, you guys need to get up to spec, man. Yeah, so I, I think that's also one reason why we always forget to take a look at the network speed because our internet connectivity here in the Philippines is a bit limited, if I would say so. Okay, so I think one of the best, uh, well, in terms of internet uh, services, we've already bumped up all the way up to 600 Mbps. 
Okay, this is uh, available for consumers. Sa mga hindi pa po naka 600 Mbps yan, check nyo na po yung mga inyong favorite na internet provider. Siyempre, meron po tayo mga kaibigan dyan from PLDT. Yan, yeah, dito po yan sa PC Express, pwede kayo mag-apply. Plugging na rin. So, ang habol po natin dito is that this particular unit is just not talk about the cooling or the fastest network uh, capability of this particular unit. This The design itself, okay, the design itself Ever since Alienware came to existence, you said this is uh, made, designed by gamers, for gamers, and when we talk about the chassis by itself, it really stands out. Now, what... Or stands is, up. Yeah, or stands <laughs> up. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. how, how does Alienware design their uh, gaming chassis? I, I, I'll, I'll be very... I had a, I'll, I had I'll a comment a while, a while ago. So yeah. I, I just want to bring this in. <laughs> what, what is the comment? Yeah, sure. Yeah, somebody just said that Uh, it just reminds them of uh, a, 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 a character in WALL-E, <laughs> if you remember that movie. Ah, yes, so I remember WALL-E. Yes, yes, yes WALL-E. So, yeah, so, but WALL-E had the head this way. Yeah, so, know, look, and so if you take a look at the back of the old uh, X51 uh, notebook, the big one, right? The, the Alienware 51M, yeah, then it may look like WALL-E. But mm -hmm. I, I would say... Uh, exactly, maybe similar to what they were talking about. These guys really have inspiration that comes out of this world. I have to take my hats off. They, the way that the way that they design it is always unique. You're not going to see it looks similar to anything on the market. It's exceptionally well designed, and even to the back. If you you showed it with the back cover just now, right? We want to hide all the cables that's inside. We also want to hide all the cables going into the machine on the on the back as well. So there is a cover that you can get at plugs into the back and covers all the cables. It looks exceptionally neat. I mean, you've seen gamers who have spaghetti all over their table. This is one where at the machine stands and sits there without you seeing all that messy messy stuff inside and outside. And it requires them to think, and this is this is why I feel that R13 is 13 generations of evolution all the way. They're thinking about, okay, what I what did I not like about the previous one? I remember the one where they had the power supply that swiveled out, and the old Aurora, you swivel the power supply out, and mm -hmm. it locked everything on the inside, right? Even though you had this wonderful beautiful motherboard and, and LED lights, the minute you close the casing, bam, you can't see anything. So they, they had to go about thinking about all of these things again. And then people uh, being freak, the OCD in all of us, right? I don't want to see all the cables. I want to be able to hide it because the cables are ugly. So they hide it. So again, cable management. And then they had to design a casing where all the beauty both inside and out is shown. So in this case, you have the window with the beautiful internal structure. How often have you seen pictures of a machine and you go, ooh, it looks really nice. And then when you see the actual unit, it says, why did all these cables not appear in the picture, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, you get, what you see is what you get. You get a beautiful picture, which is taken from a beautiful machine, both inside and out. Yeah. So actually, if you guys can see, it's really, really neat. And uh, when you talk about the cables at the back, can, can I have the, what you call this? I think the, the back cover is optional. You see there in the picture that yep. there's a back cover. This is what we're talking about uh, for key, for added cable management. You have cable management inside the PC. And if you want to manage the cables outside of the PC, you have this particular back cover as well. Okay, so the back cover actually, if uh, we, we, later now, we'll, we'll be actually showing you the actual back cover. I have it here with me. Uh, we're fortunate enough to receive not only this uh, Lunar Light Aurora R13, but also it comes with everything, even the options. So this one is, um, it's, it's magnetically locked. Okay, so there's a magnet. It's magnetically locked. So you just, all you have to do is just to attach it. So I'll, I'll show you how to attach this thing. So basically, uh, there. Uh, oops, I think it's inverse. There, you just lock it in, and you just if you want to remove it again, it's just magnetically locked. So it's easy for you to remove this particular uh, cable management back option cover. Okay, so there, so I just put it in, and it's a it's a go. You just suck it in. So no chance for you to break it because normally we're so afraid to break this uh, parts. Now when you start to lock it in, there's a clip. You tend to break it, then you throw it away because you can't use it anymore. But this one, again, it's designed 
for you to have ease of use and hassle-free. Now, hassle-free PC ownership. So, it's really, really cool, this particular unit. Now, Sir Leonard, let's talk about the specs of this particular unit. So, every Alienware Aurora R13 has been pre-designed to give the best gaming performance. Now, we have two variants, as we called it. The Lunar Light, which, which supports the Intel 12th generation Core i9-12900K processor. And of course, the one, the Dark Side of the Moon variant that we actually have, that we've shown, is supported by or powered by the Intel 12th generation Intel Core i7. 1200 kf processor okay so those are the processors that actually uh, power the system now in any gaming machine we do know it's not just all about the process the processor the gpu or the graphics is really really important as well now this particular unit if we can show them the two units again with their specifications now these are powered by the nvidia geforce rtx 30 series graphic cards with the Lunar Light version, again, with the 12th gen uh, Core i9, it uses a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is an R NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. Wow. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. Alam niyo po, magkano na po ang isang video card ng NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 ngayon? So, this one comes pre-built with it. Hindi po mahirap maghanap kasi kasama na siya. And, of course, this has been pre-tested to run with no problems in this particular unit. Now, the other version, the, the, the Core i7 version, it uses an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. Okay, now, Sir Leonard, when, we, when you choose the specs, right? Okay, so we both are using the Z690 chipset of Intel. Uh, yep. The Core i9, of course, supports a higher, it both supports probably the same, a maximum memory upgrade, but the pre-built, on this particular unit, we have a 32 gigs of uh, mm -hmm. memory for the Intel Core i9 version, and we have a 16 gig for the Core i7 version. Now, all the other specifications you see it on the screen, we have a two terabyte SSD for the Core i9 and a one terabyte SSD for the Intel Core i7. Both of them would have Windows 11. It comes with Office, Home, and Student as well. So you just plug it in, you start using it. No need to. Uh, buy any other software when it comes to productivity when it comes to windows operating system everything is there this is uh something that we normally don't purchase platinum certified power supplies now platinum certified what does this mean it means that you don't have a lot of wasted electricity okay you have if they say 750 watts you get 750 watts with uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is 95% energy yes. efficiency for the platinum, right? When it's platinum certified. And this is what's being supported by this particular. Both of these units are uh, platinum certified. And I just noticed this are 4,400 megahertz RAM that are installed here. So, alam nyo po, mga PCX, kapag binuo nyo po ito, tama yung sinabi ni Sir Leonard sa inyo kanina. Ang dami nyong trial and error pagdating sa memory. Hahanapin nyo alin yung pair na talagang tatakbo ng matino para sa inyo. Because when you start overclocking memory way past 2900, overclock na po yan eh. So, yes, sabi na hindi, the memory itself is rated 4400. Yes, the memory is rated 4400. But can you actually run it 4400 on your PC system without having any problem? Normally, dyan po nagkaka-problema. So, you look for certifications, the Intel XMP certifications that allows you to run it in, in, in a one click of a button. But again, these are KCD. So, Sir Leonard, I would just like to ask before we reveal the prices for these particular units. Mm -hmm. When it comes to uh, these machines, I yep. know it has been pre-configured, pre-tested, but can it actually still be overclocked since it supports the K-series processors of Intel? Okay, so you mentioned a lot of stuff that, that's pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the first one. We talked about the uh, power supply, which is the root, the, the backbone of any PC, right? So why... What is the difference between a platinum? What is what is ninety five percent versus eighty? So here is how it worked: um, resistors, transistors, capacitors. Uh, they come in different prices in different tolerances. So when you buy a cheap capacitor and a cheap transistor, there will be bigger tolerances. So for example, you just mentioned it. If I wanted 
a 0.4 volt drop across a circuit and I use a cheap resistor, all right, or something that isn't up to spec, what will happen is you may get a 0 0.37, 0 0.35, or 0 0.32, which is in certain aspects, if you think about tolerances, they become acceptable. Right, so you add all that together. Every component in a power supply add together. We designed it for 750, not us, but the, the manufacturer designed it for 750 watts. But what you actually get at the end of the day was because all these components has all those little, little variances in tolerances, you end up with maybe 680 or 650 watts of usable power. The other 100 watts is actually lost. Mm -hmm. either lost due to heat because the components weren't as well manufactured or it was manufactured and it was like in the bottom end of, of the tolerances right so so all of that is lost so again with what you're expecting is to be able to hold at least 700 to 730 watts of power because when you overclock you're going to need power right and if you if the in the first place if your power supply is just not up to spec you're not going to get it so the minute you overclock the power supply will overheat it'll overheat and then it'll peak it'll peak out and the power supply will cut it'll cut to prevent it from blowing up yep so so this is this is one of those things we, we have to consider and why is it in the alienware because it's designed for gamers we want to make sure you can do what gamers do and then the RAM in the first place, the motherboard has to be able to support it. The RAM has to be of a certain quality. Remember, we spoke about the banks of memory in the beginning. Mm -hmm. and can you imagine if you went and you bought cheap memory and you put it in and suddenly you realized, uh, why isn't this, this computer booting up, right? So, and you pulled out one of the banks, it will. So if you can barely even get it to boot, what makes you think you can overclock it? So in this case, we had to make sure everything works accordingly. and and. And Alienware is a global brand. We can't afford to do all this and then have a customer say, yeah, it doesn't work exactly as how you said it would. Right? And Alienware has built a reputation for delivering and over-delivering. And so this is one of those machines that we've considered to strive and push forward to where gamers want machines to be. And exactly that. Why Platinum Power Supply is one of those things. And the memory being 4400, we... We're not sure if you will overclock, but we have to build it so that you can do it anyway. Whether you want to do it or not, that's entirely up to you. But the ability is there. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, ano, mga kapisa, so, grabe yung explanation na nakuha natin ngayon. So, alam ko marami po sa atin, sanay na po tayo magbuo ng PC. But have we really thought about each and every part that we buy to create that PC? Yun po ang ginawa ni Alienware para sa atin. So, here's, what, uh, here's another question, Sir Leonard. If I were to purchase an Alienware device, what does that make me as a gaming consumer? What should I feel about it? You know, we take pride or we take part in that gaming community or in that world where we actually use a particular brand or particular device. So, is there something that actually, not just owning one, but what will be the experience or is there anything else that Alienware gives back to that to the community who purchased their product? Well, to the person that buys it, first of all, thank you. Congratulations. You've joined an elite group. All right. On top of that, it's street cred. The fact that you have an Alienware brings credibility to you, to yourself as a person who's serious about gaming. Right? The Alienware Association is there by default. You're part of you're part of a long line of people who have built machines for gamers since the very beginning. The very first few people to say, I think there's a there is a demand for people who want machines specifically designed for gaming. You've joined that legacy. Right? It's all of those things. You should feel proud and you should feel very excited to join the group of gamers that your friends are playing in whatever games that you have, you know for sure you'll be able to handle it. You know for sure your machine is going to be able to push it right to the max and, and, and deliver that satisfaction when you game. No lost frames, no drops, right? no, no messy hangs, no blue screen of death, no wondering, oh, did I have the memory in the right bank? Did I put it down correctly? And nobody wants a machine that fails. And when it does, they pick up the phone. Right? And you have peace of mind. We're there. We're there to fix it. We're there to make sure you're back up and running. You don't have to lug it, carry it, and then have hours and hours of troubleshooting and then 
figure it out by yourself if you put the machine whether you have the right component i i mean if they if they buy everything from you sir jesse i'm sure that warranty experience is is wonderful can you imagine they buy it from different places and, and that experience they go back in and then goes hey, the ram's fine mm -hmm. dude the ram's working great i think your motherboard's at fault and, and the poor customer is going what am i going to do next then they bring the motherboard and the motherboard's fine then then what the cpu then it's never ending right so in this case either they buy everything from you or they buy the alienware from you then mm -hmm. peace of mind yeah so when it comes to uh, talking about warranty talking about peace of mind so what do we expect in terms of philippine warranty for alienware products i i think the dell the dell warranty speaks for itself you mm -hmm. call we get there we fix it it's it's not like there is a lengthy process to it. It's like, peace. Hello. Yes, we have a problem. I have a problem. Uh, this is the problem. They go over the phone. They note it. They say, okay, I think this is this this and this and this is at fault. I'll make sure the technician comes with all those parts to your house. They practically look at it. They will change it until you get a machine that's ready. Wow. They don't take it away, and you 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 basically don't get. A delay right they you explain the problem they walk you through the troubleshooting and, and i personally have used it here in malaysia a couple of times just to see if it works right and they do that they, they go over it and they go okay yeah i think what you have is a, is a bit of a motherboard problem but we're gonna bring along the ram module and the ssd anyway just in case it's not that mm -hmm. so you see they anticipate which problems you might have and so when the components come there is very tiny chance that you're not going to get a working machine. <clears throat> actually, uh, K Ram Yinot, uh, one of our viewer, is actually asking, is that home service? Well, sir, yes, the Dell Premium service is actually, if I'm not mistaken, this is a 24 by 7 uh, call center that they would answer your call. And the service is actually home service. This is what Dell warranty gives you. You just call them and they will go to your place and fix it there. You don't need to bring it back anywhere. Okay, that's the Dell warranty or the Dell premium service guarantee. Now, in terms of, let's say, uh, number of years warranty, the Alienware, the, uh, Sir Leonard, how, how long is the uh, standard warranty for the Alienware Aurora R13? Okay, now, now that's a good question. Because I manage different countries, they're different mm -hmm. for different countries. Some countries have it at three, some countries have it at one. It really depends on what uh, what is bundled there in the Philippines. It could be three, it could be one. Mm -hmm. right? So I, I, I apologize, I don't have that information to its exact specifications. But we do have a one-year and a three-year warranty. It depends on the countries that decide what they want with the machines when they sell it in-country. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think... We have some friends from Dell actually uh, who's watching as well. So if you do have that information, please do uh, comment down below in our in our comment section so that everybody would know in terms of the warranty. Because I I, I, I myself don't know if it's one year or three year. Because same as what Leonard said, I do know that it's one year in some countries, is three years in some countries as well, right? Yes. Uh, so I, I do apologize to all your fans out there. I I. Don't have this at my fingertips. I have all the other technical data, but I don't have the warranty information. So I apologize to you guys. Uh, I'll make sure I, I remember the warranty the next time I get on your show. We will okay. have lots of opportunities to talk about all the other products that's coming up. Okay. So, um, okay. Someone, uh, Zeke Silva said it's three years premium warranty with ADP. I think that's accidental damage protection. Is Zeke from Dell? Uh, I'm not sure, but he, he's saying so. I just want to make sure if, uh, again, if Zeke is not from Dell, then I need somebody uh, who's from Dell to confirm. Now, if, if Zeke is from Dell, then that's three years warranty. Okay, so and we will get back to it. But right now, probably you're asking how much is actually this particular unit. A while ago, I saw KRAM posting, I think it's 113,000 for the Intel Core i7 version and a hundred something thousand for the Intel Core i9 version. Now, hold on to your seats because you really need to hold on when it comes to pricing for Alienware products. I told you these are uh, products that would probably 
as a joke no? I need to sell my kidneys but no not really you just need to plan it out properly to get the best gaming product out there and this is the price now let's start off with the Intel Core i9 version okay the Lunar Light Alienware Aurora R13 that is being powered by the Intel Core i9 12th generation processor has a, a retail price uh, the standard SRP for this one is 359,000 995 do we actually have yeah yeah you'll be able to see it it's 359,995 and the aurora r13 dark side of the moon that is powered by intel 12th generation core i7 processor is actually priced at 213,995 so medyo malayo no medyo malayo yung mga hula ninyo but etong we have a special promotion for you guys if you would be purchasing uh through the SRP, we'll be giving you 12 months, 0% installment using a credit card. So we have various credit cards, various banks. We do have that. We also have home credit. But I don't advise you to use the home credit because the limit is only up to, what, 60,000 pesos. So kulang. Kulang yon because the price is 300 plus. But if you, if you have saved enough and you would want to buy it at the cheapest price point possible, we have this special promotion for you where we are selling the Core i9 version at 335995 and the Core i7 version at 199995 So we're actually taking almost, what, 20,000 pesos away or 20 plus thousand pesos away from the retail price. This is a very, very good deal already. Okay, it's a big, big savings for you guys. Now, to sweeten the deal, for those of you who are watching right now, or for those of you who will be watching this on a replay, I want to give you something special for the first customer who would be purchasing the Alienware Aurora R13, whatever variant, whether it's the Core i7, the Core i9, I'll be giving you this jacket for free, okay? I mentioned I'll be giving this jacket, so this is the, a Nike, an original Nike Alienware jacket. I don't know how much this retails because this is an exclusive uh, jacket from Alienware. It was just given to us to give away to you guys. Plus, plus, an Alienware 610. I think I, I had it correct. I think the 610 and the 310. Okay, the 310 is a mouse. This is a gaming mouse from Alienware. So you see it now on screen. And you have an, a headset. The, six, the Alienware 610 headset. Yeah, that, that's uh, Leonard is actually using. So that's the mouse and the, the headset is the one that I'm showing you on screen right now. So again, there are two different colors, the dark side of the moon and the lunar light. So see, Sir Leonard has it as well. I think he's going to be giving that away later to me. No, 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 no. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. When, um, when I see you, I'll bring souvenirs for you. <laughs> okay. Jesse. When, when I see you in that. person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I will bring some souvenirs for you. When okay. I see you in person in the Philippines, I mm -hmm. miss the food there. Yeah. Okay. So the, again, huh, the first person who will be buying right after the stream of any of the two variants will get all three items. The jacket, the headset, and the mouse. The second, the second buyer will get the jacket and the headset. And the third one will get the jacket. Okay? So that, that's how it goes. So this is a live stream special for you guys. Again, for whoever is gonna buy it right after. So, those of you who are watching right now, kayo lang po ang nakakaalam na may ganitong promotion. Yung mga tindahan po ng PC Express, hindi po nila alam yan. Malalaman pa nila afterwards na. So, unang-una po kayong malalaman. So, if you have friends who are looking for this particular need, might as well uh, purchase it right now because bakit, no? Okay, the jacket is an exclusive limited edition. I can't put a price on it. Okay, I can't put a price on this. But the Alienware headset retails at $99. So, meaning to say that's 5,000 pesos. The mouse, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is somewhere around 2,000 pesos as well or more than 2,000 pesos. So, that's a big savings already for the whoever's going to purchase. And you also get that extra uh, discount that we are offering of more than 20 plus thousand. Now, if you do want to talk to us, we do have the Viber community wherein you can chat with any of our 30 agents, okay? So we've posted it in our in our comment section. This is the PC Express Viber community marketplace where you can talk to our agents so that we can transact your purchases online and we have it delivered in your place as well, okay? So of course, you can do, you can message us as well in our Facebook page, in our Facebook Messenger. So there's a lot of ways for you to contact us. You can visit our stores, you can contact us online, 
and we will be able to answer your questions about your Alienware product that you would want to purchase. Okay, so Sir, Sir Leonard, I think it's about time as well, no? Uh, is there something else that we need to know about uh, the Alienware Aurora R13 or Alienware in general? Actually, I was I was going to share a little bit about the the freebies that you're going to give away. Oh, sure. I, I sure, think sure. a lot of I, I think a lot of people haven't had time to or haven't had the opportunity to to basically uh, get an intro on this one. Mm -hmm. So this is our headset. Uh, this is a seven dot one headset, uh, and it comes with both connectivity, right? So if you wanted a, a three point five a three point five mm jack, uh, you can get that, and then it also comes with a USB jack. So uh, instead of plugging it into a 3.5 mm port, and if you if you want to, and you want to plug it into a USB port, you can do that as well. And it's 7.1, re a retractable mic. The mic that you see there actually can retract back into the headset. All right, so it's really, re really, really nice. We had the first generation version, and that was wireless, but we found that uh, with gamers, I think wired still preferred. Mm -hmm. um, and then the mouse, and this is a very interesting mouse. Uh, a lot of times, you either get a mouse that's wired, or wireless. Mm -hmm. In the case of the 610, you actually get wired and wireless. Oh. So it, yes, so you can actually use wireless on the mouse. The dongle's actually at the bottom, and the wire that comes out the front is actually integrated right into it. So when you plug it in, it looks like a wired mouse. But then, strange, when you flip the mouse upside down, the dongle's actually sitting underneath, and you can pull out the dongle and use it wirelessly. So this is, again, why it's interesting because both of these devices are premium. They are almost at the top of the Dell Alienware range of accessories, right? And it, if I were you, make sure you'd be the first one because that headset and that mouse is a killer. And then all you need to do is get Sir Jesse to sell you the keyboard as well. <laughs> yeah. So actually somebody mentioned that Dell also has the mechanical keyboard, which is true. Okay, so Alienware... Yes, we do. Uh, just a moment, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll show it to you. Here we go. <sighs> wow. Yeah, so this is the mechanical keyboard. Yeah, mm -hmm. If you can see it. Yeah. I don't we, think you can. Yeah, yeah so, you have to bring so this is to the... Face. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, so this is the 510K. Mm -hmm. Right, this is... Uh, and this is the mechanical keyboard. The switches are cherry. As you know... We've partnered with Cherry for our de for our notebooks. Uh, doesn't make sense. We don't have a Cherry keyboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So we do have all of these accessories, and and I'm pretty sure they will be coming to you nearby. Uh, so if you one of the first few to get that Alienware desktop from uh, PC Express, I'm sure Sir Jesse will help you out and uh, sell you another keyboard to go with it, and then you can have a full set mm -hmm. along with the monitor as well. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So actually, we did have a lot of promotions way, way back for the monitors. So okay, one of the best yeah. uh, G-Sync monitors out there when it first came out. A lot of people actually clam clamored for this particular monitor. Uh, we have a question from Key Ram. Uh, mm -hmm. He was talking about the AW768. AW768. Oh, I think that's the older version. Yeah, yeah. We don't have a, it. A, an old, uh, is it an old keyboard? 768 sounds like an old mice. Uh, mice. Could be before my time. I, I I need to I need to go and recall. I I know we had those funny numbers with the 68 and the 28s in a while back, and, and I'm not the best person in the world to remember numbers. Right, but uh, that sounded more like the mice. We do. I remember we do have a mouse, uh, and the mouse had loaded weights at the back, which you can remove. Mm -hmm. uh, to adjust, some people like their mouses light, some people wanted a little bit more weight to it, and then we had the wings attached to the side uh, with with a magnetic field. As you can see, most of the Alienware stuff, right, we, we kind of don't want screws. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's all magnets and stuff. So yeah, we, we did have that, and we also had the older keyboard, which, which was, again, also mechanical, uh, but they used brown switches. Mm -hmm. So all the new Alienware keyboards now are, um, of course, all the latest updated Alienware keyboards, the, the top of the line series, all use Cherry. As we all know, Cherry is the best in the industry, and when you get Alienware, you get the best. That's true. So I do hope all of our viewers would remember that, that if you're looking for the best gaming product out there, it's actually right 
now available at PC Express. We have the Alienware Aurora R13 for the desktop unit and we do have the keyboards and the mouse and the headsets as well from Alienware. So this is something that you can actually purchase from PC Express. Now, sorry Leonard, a lot of our viewers actually uh, have a lot of probably inquiries. So I, I'll, I'll just open up the floor to our viewers. If you have any question po, mga ka-PCX, kung meron po kayong gustong itanong ngayon about the Alienware products, I'll give you a, a, a few moments of time na pwede natin pag-usapan to. And right after this, kami naman po ang magtatanong sa inyo para pwede po kayong makakuha. Again, no? I'm giving away five 500 pesos gift certificates now this i think if i'm not saying these are sodexo gift certificates so it's easy for you to purchase a lot of products kung medyo malayo-layo po kayo at hindi po namin mapadala yung sodexo sa inyo sige swap na lang po tayo igg cash ko na lang meron po akong 50% commission fee de, de, joke lang wala wala buong 500 <laughs> ipapalit ko po sa inyo okay so yeah so sir nico lactao actually said the a768 that's the keyboard with silver body okay yun yung binanggit uh, niya yes Mm -hmm. Okay, I uh, let me see if I still have that somewhere around here. Uh, that is the one with the brown switches. Yeah, I the, think the, that's the this version. one. Give me a second. Yeah. I think I have it. It's still somewhere here. Uh, so, habang inahanap po ni Sir Leonard, ito si, Sir, si Marion Kenyano. Woohoo! Gcash na naman. Pag nanining po yung Gcash yeah. talaga. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the 768. Yeah, yeah. That's the 768. Yes, correct. This is the 768. Yeah, this, so this is the one with the brown switches. Mm-hmm. The, it's it's still a mechanical keyboard, but the switches underneath are made by Brown, right? So the new version, uh, which is the five ten K, this is the one with the cherry on it. Mm -hmm. These are the cherry switches, yeah. right? So yes, the, that's the older version. It's the one with the brown switches. Uh, so ito nakatanungan na. So yeah, sabi ni K Ram. So that's what I'm talking about. So again, so the seven six eight, Sir K Ram, Sir Sean. These are old generation mechanical keyboards from Alienware. And right now, what, what we're actually uh, selling are the newer versions, which is the 510K for the keyboard, the 510 for the headset, and the 610 for the mouse. Okay, and that's what Sir Leonard actually showed you a while ago. Okay, so if there are no questions coming from the audience, well, probably Sir Leonard has a question for you. And the first one who'd be able to answer this particular question will get a 500 pesos gift certificate. Gift certificate po muna. Kasi, ano eh, personal ko po yung papalitan kung, kung Gcash po ang ibibigay ko sa inyo. Kailangan ko po ayusin pa yan. So, but don't worry. Ang habol po namin, madali nyo pong makuha yung 500 pesos na yan. So, alam nyo naman po yan. Dito sa PC Express Live, Lahat yan, legit ang ginagawa natin mga activities at meron talaga na, nakukuha at napapanalunan nyo yan. So, handa na po ba kayo mga ka-PCX para sa ating Q&A with Sir Leonard? <laughs> I thought you'd be doing the Q&A, Sir Jesse. <laughs> oh, I'll be doing the Q&A. Well, actually, I can actually ask the questions. No problem about that. So, yeah. So, yeah. We, we, we see uh, our viewers right now. Someone just said, Amen. Someone said, Yeah, they're ready. So how about the <laughs> others? How many of you are actually here? Yeah, Billy Ray to bear to be on said G na G po. Game na game na po. So okay, so we do have a lot of people ready. Okay, so the first question. Okay, the first question. Okay. Sino po sa inyo ang bibili na ng Alienware Aurora R13? Ayan. Yung sasagot po niyan, no, hindi lang ko yung makakakuha ng isang Alienware Aurora R13. May libre pa pong jacket. May libre kayong headset at may libre pa kayong mouse. Okay? So, yan. Yeah, ano lang, inuulit ko lang po na meron tayong promotion. No? Meron tayong promotion na uh, for the first three buyers, meron kayong mga extra giveaways because nanonood po kayo ng live stream na to. Okay? So, to, 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 wala nang joke. Wala nang joke. Let's, let's, let's go with the Q&A giveaway portion. Okay? So, we talked about how good the Alienware is all about with all the features that it has. Now, I need to know what is the name of that feature that allows you to have the best cooling when it comes to PC gaming out there. What do you call this particular solution? Okay, so, sino kaya ang makakasulat niyan? Okay, so, Romeo Villarde, siya po yung unang nakita ko. Sabi niya, it's the Cryotech Cooling System. Cryotech Cooling system from Romeo Villarde. Okay, so paki, pakikuha lang yan. And, uh, yes, that is the correct answer. Pag mali ako doon, nakoyari. 
Sir Leonard will be very, very mad at me if I did uh, get it properly. Okay, so this is the Crytek cooling solution, uh, cooling system. Okay, so we have our first winner, Sir Romeo Velarde. So again, oh, for us to give you that 500 peso GC, make sure na na share nyo yung stream ato publicly, da? because we will be checking. We will be checking. Okay, so yan tanda niya yung Cryotech cooling solution na yan. This is really something that Alienware is really proud of because they really took it into consideration all the designs that you need to have the best performance out there. So yung Cryotech na yan. So again, okay, second question, second question. We have two variants of uh, the Alienware Aurora R13. One is color black and one is color white. Can you tell me what is the naming convention? Ano po ang tawag ng Alienware sa black and white version nila? They don't call it black, they don't call it white, but they call it something else. What do they call it? Bilis ah. <laughs> so, sino na una sa kanila? Si Kyrie. Tama ba? Si Kyrie na una? Okay, nag pa. Okay, Kyrie. Kyrie Dredge ang sagot niya dyan. Kompleto, Aurora R13, yung black is the dark side of the moon. And the Intel Core i9 version, R13, is called the Lunar Light. So, Kyrie Dredge, congratulations. You are, you are our second winner. Okay, so, yan ah. Dalawang winners na po tayo. Dalawang winners na tayo. So, third question natin sa inyo, no? Third question. Sana naaalala nyo pa, yung sa pinag-usapan natin kanina. Etong Alienware system na to, teka lang ha, uh, naka-off siya eh. On lang natin. Naka-on ba siya? Ito ba yung on natin? Yung logo ba? Yun o, oh, grabe. Yan, umiilaw na siya. Ganda. Iba klase. For, again, oh, sorry po. Hindi ko pa po nagagamit, kaya tuwan-tuwa rin ako na nakukuha ko to eh. Okay. Itong particular unit na to, no, the Alienware Aurora R13, no, meron po tayong promotion na pinapatakbo ngayon. No, so, again na, ulitin ko. May promo po tayo, ang SRP po na ito is 359,995. Ito po yun, yung Intel Core i9. Yung Core i7 po natin is 213,995. Pero, isi-sale po natin yan, pabibili nyo. Ito, itong unit na to sa halagang 335,995. At yung isa naman ay 199,995. Pero kung kayo po ang first buyer natin, ano pa po ang makukuha niyong freebie? Ano pa po yung ibibigay ko sa inyong free kung kayo po ang first buyer right after this live stream? Ayan, so kasama yan yung etong jacket na to. Ano pa po ang dalawang kasama niya? Okay, for the first buyer, ano pa po ang kasama niya? So, ayan, meron tayong subagots. Okay, so, okay, Sir Marion Kenyano, sabi niya, it's the jacket, the headset, and the mouse. Okay, so Sir Marion, bibigyan kita ng another question. Follow up po. Tama yan. Jacket, headset, and mouse. Can you tell us the model of the headset and the mouse? Ayan. So, Sir Marion Kenyano, we need to see the model of the headset and the mouse. Ano kaya yung model natin? Okay, so yan, lahat ng susulat, jacket, headset, and mouse. Na-mention po namin yan kanina, inulit pa, pinakita pa po natin yung sample that Alienware does not only have these great PC devices or the great notebooks that we have, but they also have gaming peripherals. So, okay. Sir Marion, yan, tinutulungan ka na ng mga kasama nyo, <laughs> mga ibang viewers, may mga iba nang sumagot. Okay, meron ba? Marami nang nagsulat. Si Sir Marion, wala pa rin. Okay, bibilangan ko si Sir Marion. Ha? Bibilangan natin kasi dami na nakasulat. Ayan, 10. Up, may sinagot na siya. 9, pero mali po. Makaka-copy-paste na lang tayo, Sir Marion. Hindi pa po natin makuha. Ulitin mo, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, up! Hindi pa rin niya nakuha. Grabe. Bagal ko na nga magbilang ng 10 seconds. Hindi pa rin niya nakuha. <laughs> De, sige, hindi na po kita pahirapan. Marami po na sumagot. Tama naman po ang sagot. Pero ang tamang sagot po dyan is the Alienware 610 for the mouse and the Alienware uh, 510 for the headset. Right, Sir Leonard? I'm correct, no? Tama yon. 
Yes, that, that, that is correct. Okay, so we do have that. Okay, so, ilang pa ba? Nakatatlo na ako? We have three winners already. We have three. We have three winners. Okay, we have three winners. Already. I have two more. Sir, Sir Leonard, can you help me? Can you give one question for our viewers? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's let's bring Sir Ooh. Leonard back to in screen. Uh, para niya, yeah, Sir Leonard. So I have one question. Who is Alienware? Okay. Who is Alienware? Uh, okay. So Sir Sir Leonard will probably look for the best answer. Who is Alienware? Okay. So who is Alienware? if anybody if anybody says me they get disqualified. <laughs> so we talked about who or what Alienware is all about. Now Sir Leonard is asking you, who is Alienware? Okay, so we have from Trisha Allegra Gamers from Jason Alonso Gaming brand of Dell. Joris is premium and the best equals Alienware. From KRAM it's Dell. From Emil the first unique feature of Alienware. Uh, products is subsidiary of Dell, so I think he got it from Wikipedia. Another one says Alienware is an American computer hardware subsidiary of Dell. Their product range is yeah, it is that, from Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, that, that that one is straightly lifted out from Google somewhere. Yeah. In okay, Google. I, I think I see someone here uh, from Jory's AJ. He said it's built by gamers for gamers by Alienware. Then another one talks about. Uh, Alienware from Joram Nico Claudio. Alienware is all about gaming. Uh, from Nico Lactau, Alienware is built by gamers. So it's the same like, games for gamers. Okay, this one. Okay, I, it was founded, sir, by Nelson Gonzalez and Alex Aguila. <laughs> wow, this I is actually history. <laughs> this is interesting. Well, actually, uh, that was one answer that I kept going on about whenever we spoke, and we said again, you know. This is a machine, and Alienware is a brand that is built by gamers, designed by gamers, for gamers. And so that was the closest answer there. I think that one person that had it, if I'm looking at it, uh, is uh, Nico, isn't it? No, I think the first one who answered that was Joris. Yeah, yeah. Let's pick the first one who yeah. answered that. That, that is, that is what I was saying. Yeah, Joris, yes. Built yes, by Joris. gamers for gamers mm -hmm. by Alienware, yes. Yeah. Okay, so Joris, AJ, congratulations for being able to answer who is Alienware. And of course, thank you for the others who search. We even mentioned the two the two people who started Alienware, the founders of Alienware. So congratulations yeah. to that. Okay, so one more, one more. We need one more winner. Sir Leonard, do you have another question for our audience this time around? This is interesting. I I don't have one at the top of my head, but I did talk about this earlier. Mm -hmm. What does TCC stand for? Oh, wow. What does TCC stands for? It has something to do with the cooling system huh, that Alienware has. It's not about the fan. It's about something else. It's not just about the uh, fan. Remember, this is not just the water cooling. So we've we've seen thermal cooling. Okay, I see from Sir Nico the answer. His answer is temperature control circuit. Yeah, okay. that's the first one. That's the correct one. That's the correct. So again, the temperature control circuit allows you to set that limit, so that that particular your your unit will actually uh, be fixed in terms of the maximum temperature that you would be able to reach. And this is actually uh, configured in the motherboard BIOS, right, Sir Leonard? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yes, okay. that's correct. So, yeah, so somebody said it's the turbine case cooling from Bon Rusi. <laughs> okay, no, so it's a temperature... It's an interesting one. I, I yeah. like the imagination. I really <laughs> love the way they came out with the imagination on this one. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so again... Thank you so much, uh, Sir Leonard, for helping us. Now, for helping us really talk about the Illuminar Aurora R13. It has always been a, my pleasure to actually guest you here because we really learned a lot. Now, you know your product well, and this would actually help us to understand you now why Alienware is such the best gaming product out there. It's always a pleasure to join you on your streams. And we always have good, have a good chat, and I love to reach out and have that conversation also with with your fans in the Philippines. Uh, too bad I can't be there, but uh, in this way, I guess uh, we're connected in some ways, and we'll see. I, I maybe next time I'll spend, I'll be sitting in that beautiful studio of yours next to you as we do this again for all the future products. 
Ayan. So, thank you, sir. Ay, sa atin mga mga ka kayo ba? Sod na sod na ba kayo ngayong gabi ito? Grabe. Limang winners po ng 500 pesos gift certificate or GCash. Ang pinamigay natin ngayong araw na to o kulang pa ba? Kailangan ba ipamigay na rin natin itong Aurora R13 sa tabi ko? Well, alam nyo po, kung ibibigay po to ni Alienware, ako po yung unang kukuha nito. Hindi ko na po paparap sa inyo. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi. Kasi syempre lahat naman po tayo gusto talaga natin to get the best gaming product out there. And again, sabi nga ni Sir Leonard, I'm very fortunate no, na meron akong ganitong unit na pwede kong i-test out. So right now, ginawan po namin ng video. I do hope you like that video on how we introduce Alienware. Please do share. no, Share that video. It will be posted in our, in our uh, YouTube channel, PCXTV. Do sub subscribe. Do share it para mas marami pa pong makaalam about the Alienware. And do wait no, for this uh, uh, edited version nitong live stream na to because uh, we will make this available so everybody could know all about the Alienware Aurora 13. At bago po ako magtapos, bago ko magtapos, papakita ko lang po ulit sa inyo itong presyo ng ating Alienware Aurora 13. Remember, meron tayong dalawang variant, the Dark Side of the Moon and the Lunar Light variant or the Intel Core i7 and the Intel Core i9 variant. So, ito po, the Aurora R13. Is, ang presyo po, special price, 199995 Full specifications, nakikita niyo yan, Intel Core i7 12700KF processor, 16GB of RAM. These are 4400MHz RAM, by the way. 1TB of NVMe SSD, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphic card. Then, of course, all the other features that you have dito. It comes with Windows 11 and an Office 2021 as well, Home and Student 2021. And of course, we have the Lunar Light, the, the white that I have beside me. Ito po, ang SRP po is $359,995. Binaba po natin yan to $335,995 na lang if you're paying it in cash or straight payment po. Uh, using a credit card, full specifications is an Intel Core i9-12900K processor, 32 gigs of RAM. 2 terabyte of NVMe SSD and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. Ayan, so ibig sabihin, no holds barred. All the best products, all the best parts out there, nilagay na dyan for you to get the best gaming experience. So, sy syempre, sabi natin, it's a bit expensive than the Core i7 variant, but again, that's the best processor, that's the best graphic card out there, and you have the best gaming desktop PC that we can actually give you. So, yeah, no, so ang dami pang uh, nagsasabi. So, kulang pa raw, sabi ni Sir Enil, sabi ni Joris, R13, ipamigay na yan. Diba? So, yeah, no, so, uh, Del Philippines, ibigay nyo na raw sa akin tong R13 para magamit natin sa mga streams natin. Share ko po sa inyo, okay, alam, mga kapisyes, share ko yung experience ko sa inyo when I'm using the Aurora R13. Pero, well, ito, wala pong biro. Para po sa inyo, sa mga nanonood pa, kasi alam ko yung iba umalis na, kala tapos na eh. Para sa mga nanonood pa, meron akong isang special raffle sa inyo. So, please do, uh, kung magka-comment na lang sila, kunin na lang natin yung mga pangalan nila kasi parang trip kong ipamigay. No? Trip kong ipamigay itong jacket na to. No? Gusto kong ipamigay. No? So, maglalabas po ako ng uh, raffle ticket no? na pwede nyong bilhin for 500 pesos yung mga nanalo ng Gcash dyan. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi po. So, uh, ano na lang, ano tayo, registration na lang tayo, maglagay na lang tayo ng Google Form o hindi na, sulat na lang sila. Sulat na lang ng pangalan, Madal madalas na naglolo ko yung comment picker, so we don't want to use the comment picker. So, sino-sino pa ba yung mga nandito? Ayan, so, ayan, dyan pa, marami pa, si Zeke, si Marion, si Nico, si Kylie, si June, si Carmelo, ang dami pa, dami pa nanonood. So, again, thank you so much, you've always been uh, watching from start to finish, lagi kayong nandyan, kaya ito, Kahit o hindi ito kasama sa programa. So, so, so Del, <laughs> bibigay ko po ito. <laughs> Del Philippines, para po sa mga viewers natin, para sa mga kaibigan natin, this is for them. Okay? So, okay, so ito, magbibigay po kami ng registration. So, while waiting, while waiting, balik ko po si Sir Leonard, magkakwentuhan lang po kami. Kasi I'm sure, aantay nyo yung registration. Google form, uh, we'll put a Google form. So, eh, Sir, Sir Leonard, I brought you back on screen. So, while, while, we'll give them a chance for this... Uh, special raffle the special raffle uh, so uh, again so they've been watching if you do remember some of them uh, they've been with us ever since we talked about uh, Alienware uh, the M15 and even though the Dell, the Dell unit the other Dell units 
They've always been here. They've been supporting us for the past more than three years already, pre-pandemic days. Even during the pandemic, they're still here. And actually, Sir Leonard, they have been sharing uh, information about what we do here at PC Express Live as well. So the community has grown with them as our core members as well. So yeah, we see Christina Borines, we see Marian Kenyano, Feng Kalangian, Belia Carl Cham Mierzod. A, a while ago, they were they were not really commenting a lot, but you see, they're still here. <laughs> they're, they're Actually, still I, I noticed that some of the names are familiar. I've seen them before in mm -hmm. in your stream. Yeah. So okay, the the registration is already up. The registration is already up. You know the drill. You have to put your name. You put you need to put your Facebook profile. And believe me, this is not. Uh, something that you buy in Divisoria <laughs> or somewhere out on the streets. This is an original Nike product. Okay, it even has the tag. It's there. And again, you cannot get anything with that Alienware brand. At least if you can own the PC, at least wear the brand. Okay, street cred, right? Street cred. Okay, so can you put my name there? Can you? <laughs> can I be included in this raffle as well? Okay, so we do have. Okay, okay. I'm giving you guys one more minute. One more minute. Okay, this is a quick uh, registration for you guys. So I'm. I do hope you're still watching and you're fast on your uh, on your keyboards or on your phone because we want to give this away as fast as we could. Okay, so the timer is counting. There's 50 seconds left. Okay, there's 50 seconds left. Okay, so, uh, so Sir Leonard, again, when we talk about the Alienware Aurora R13, this is the second product that we've actually launched here at PC Express Live. We have the first Alienware, which is the M15, and right now this is the Aurora R13. And you just mentioned a while ago off cam that there are new products coming out. Right? There are, there, are, there are always new products coming out. Of course, there's always <laughs> new products. Eh, eh, eh. There are always new products coming out. But but mind you, I'm sure you'll see them in the Philippines soon enough. And we'll be we'll be talking about them, I guess, in a couple of months. In a couple of months. Ayun po, no? yeah. So do get excited. More Alienware to come out. Do share. Now do share all the videos that, that we've come out here. At yung kung nagustuhan nyo po yung video na ginawa namin, pag nakita nyo again sa PCX TV, do like and do share it as well. Give some support to us sa PCX TV channel po namin sa YouTube as well. Okay, time's up po tayo. So, iko-close na po namin ang ating registration form para dito sa jacket na to. Okay, so, yan. Lagay po natin. Kunin na po natin ang kanilang mga pangalan because we want to raffle this off. Now, itong ira-raffle ko po, ang size po is... Medium. So, pagka hindi po kasha sa inyo, uh, sorry po, but uh, there's a fixed size that I can give away kasi ito po yung hawak-hawak ko. So, this is medium. Okay? Kung hindi po pwede sa inyo, pwede nyo pamili po sa uh, mga kasamahan po ninyo. Okay? So, ito na po ang ating listahan. Can we actually get the list of names para pwede natin isama? So, sabi ni Carmelo Jimenez, large daw sana. Okay. So, uh, alam nyo po, pag, uh, pag pangalan ko po ang nabunot, no, don't worry. Magpapapayat ako para magamit ko. Para magamit ko to. So, I can use this. I'll, I'll start dieting tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> so, ito na po yung mga listahan. I think nakuha na. Okay. So, ito po yung mga names natin. Aba, marami-rami pa kayo ah. Nasa halos 20 pa. Pwede mo isingit yung Jesse Tan dyan. Subukan ko lang. Baka malay mo, manalo ko. Ayan. Sisingit ko lang yung Jesse Tan. Uh, magsasa magpapasok kami ng mga ilang pangalan yung mga nasa studio namin para sakali pag mabunot kami, total, tapos na po ang uh, trabaho natin, patapos na tayo, so baka masama kami. <laughs> okay. So, uh, sige, bunot na po tayo, nandiyan na po yung mga pangalan, at ang makakakuha na itong jacket na to ay si... Tan -tan -tan -tan! Ayun talaga, papupunta sa pangalan ko! Ayun na! Ay, kulang. Von Rossi. Or Von Rossi, congratulations. Sayang, konti-konti na lang. Akin na sana tong jacket na to. No? So, akin na sana yung jacket na to. But, de, Von Rossi, congratulations. I know you are, you are here. Please do say that you are still present. Ayan, we'll give you 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds lang talaga binigay. Gustong bawiin eh, no? Hindi. So, Von Rossi, are you still here? Von Rossi? Okay, so... Inaabangan lang namin. There's a 20 seconds delay. So basically, I'm giving him around 30 seconds. So, nag-present si Ren Ashbel. Hindi, hinahanap ko po si Von Rochi. Asha ba yun? Ah, 
Ah, Ren Ashbel. Okay, Ren Ashbel. Siya daw, siya talaga. Tama yon tama. Yun, Von Rochi na name. Ang URL ang pangalan niya si Ren Ashbel. So, congratulations, Ren Ashbel, for winning this particular jacket. No? Kulang na lang po ng 199,995 may libreng uh, mouse at headset ka pa. So again, maraming salamat po sa mga ka-PC Expo na sumama po sa amin dito sa Alienware livestream episode natin. And of course, kay Sir Leonard for actually guesting back here. Ako, tutuwa talaga ako. And again, watch us, follow us, at abangan nyo ang aming susunod na mga livestream dito sa PC Express Live. By the way, my name is Jesse Tan. Ako ang inyong host dito sa PC Express Live. Ingat po! Paalam! It's not just a game, when every move feels like a power play. It's opened my eyes to a whole new world. It's where I find myself. And get lost in the game.
some time as the seasons go. 